is Kansas City. Yeah. Shit's ran gritty. Yeah. In the summertime, the chicks be damn pretty. Yeah. Born in the projects, then to the veal. Yeah. Then I hey, you guys, it's me, Bossy, and I am back with a story time video. I know you guys love my story times, but y'all know I only really do one story time once a month. Sometimes if I'm feeling like it, I might do more than one. But this is just a heads up for all of my new subscribers. So you guys, today's story is going to be about the time that I found out I was pregnant with my first child and also telling my parents. So you guys, as you all know, I am a mother of five and I actually have a 12 year old daughter. And this is about the time I found out when I was pregnant with my oldest daughter. And so, let's get into this story. So, you guys, um, of course, this happened when I was in the 12th grade. And I was dating the infamous Bob, as you all know. And Bob and I um, actually had stopped going to the same school in 12th grade. He went to a different school and I stayed at my high school, which was Westport. And yes, Bob and I were sexually active, but I was on birth control. And what happened was... Um, I, and I actually, I think I know the day I conceived my daughter, but what happened was one day, um, I either didn't go to school or I left school early because I had a hair appointment. I was one of those girls back in the day in high school that kept our hair done, nails done. I always wore rings and everything like that. A little ratch, but not too bad. And so I had a hair appointment and um, I had went home and Bob, he actually uh, didn't have to go to school a whole day at the school he went to. He only went to school like half a day or whatever. And so, of course, he knew I was leaving early, so he came to my father's house. I hope my father is not watching this because he does not know how I conceived my first child. He didn't even know I was having sex. But if he's watching this because he has subscribed to me, he will know. So, um, I was... Living with my dad, by the way, I only stayed at my mom's on the weekend, but I was at my dad's house. So Bob had came over to the house and, you know, we had already been doing stuff, but I was on birth control. So I was always careful. No, we did not use condoms because I thought I'd be good on birth control. And I thought he was faithful like an idiot. And so he was coming over so, you know, we could do the nasty or whatever. But I had told him that... I hadn't been on my birth control in almost three or four days because I kept forgetting to get my prescription and I kept forgetting to have my mom, you know, go pick it up for me. So I told him that. So he was like, okay, you know, he was going to make sure he was going to pull out. But I still should have made him use a condom, but I didn't. So anyway, he came over and we were doing the nasty, of course, in my bedroom. So... Of course, I was so into it, I guess I wasn't paying attention, but I told him and I kept telling him, but of course, he did not pull out. But I still didn't think I was going to get pregnant because I was like, ah, oh, thinking like an idiot. Ah, oh, the back control is still in my system. I'll be good. Anyway, after we was done doing our thing, he takes me to my hair appointment, goes back to his mom's house, and that's the end of that. So, um, this is actually, this happened, uh, let's see, around April or so, and it was May when it was time for me to graduate. So, I noticed, um, you know, a little bit before graduation that I was getting a little more tired. I would be sluggish. Uh, sorry y'all if y'all just heard the air come on. But I would get very sluggish and I would be tired. And I really wasn't always tired like that. You know, I had a job. Um, I went to school, of course, because I was trying to get out of high school. Um, but I just was more tired than normal. So, um, Bob and I's cousin, we were really close. I'm just going to call him Ray because that is a part of his name but Ray and I were really really co close he was Bob's cousin that I talked about 
everything with i mean he was really cool he was a little younger than me but he was just so cool and so he kept saying how come you always tired about seeing me you always sleepy you probably pregnant i was like uh i'm not pregnant i'm on birth control i'm not pregnant i know i'm not pregnant so um after he said that i started just thinking about it in my head and then i thought wow i haven't had my period in about a week or two but I'm just like, no, nah, maybe it's just my birth control because I'm scared out of my mind because I know for a fact I'm not pregnant. Yeah, I was off birth control for three or four days, but I was thinking as long as I take my birth control again, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be cool. So I was thinking, so I know I can't be pregnant. I don't know why I'm so tired, but I was tired all of the time. So one day, I remember this day so well. It was a weekend and I was at my mom's house. And I was about to go to the movies with my cousins. And I remember I had just woken up from a nap because I was always taking a nap. And I jumped up, you know, washed my body and everything like that and went to put on my clothes. So I was going to put on my jeans. And when I went to go button my jeans, because these jeans was kind of tight, I ain't going to lie something was like in my mind no lie because I, I didn't take no pregnancy test nothing like that but something was like don't wear these jeans or put them underneath your belly don't button these jeans because just don't you might be pregnant I've never been pregnant I've never felt how I was to be pregnant at that time but I just kept hearing this voice in my head like you might be pregnant you might be pregnant so I ended up wearing something totally different so that next day, my cousin Fee, which that's her real nickname, my cousin Fee, and she watches these videos, and she has a YouTube channel, The Upcoming Philosopher, I think that's her name, The Upcoming Philosopher. Anyway, back to the story. Um, she, uh, she was asking me the same thing, if I think I could be pregnant because I was acting different and all that. And I'm thinking, no, I'm just tired. I'm ready to be out of high school. You know, I'm good you know graduation is next weekend i'm not pregnant or whatever well and so anyway she was like well i don't know i think you might be well i was like well i'm not gonna find out right now if i am but i really don't think i am i think maybe my iron is low because i had an issue with being anemic and everything like that and i was like maybe i'm just real low on my iron and she was like well i know after your graduation party and everything like that she was like, I'm going to take you to go get a pregnancy test. And I'm like, whatever. So graduation came, walked across the stage, got my diploma, graduated in 03. Um, then after graduation, it was about, I think it was three of us. No, four of us that had graduated from high school. I think it was four cousins of mine on my dad's side that had graduated from high school. So my dad's family threw us a big party at a hall. It was all our friends and family. It was really, really fun. And normally I'm the life of the party. I used to be dancing and Nina popping and all of that stuff. But I noticed I was like so tired. Every time I was trying to dance with my cousins and having fun, I just kept getting like lost. I just kept losing my breath. I was getting tired. I just was getting dizzy. So had to keep sitting down so then I was getting nervous like I'm never like this I used to go to high school homecomings and be kicking in with no problem now I'm out of breath I'm tired I'm huffing I'm puffing looking crazy but you know every time I heard a song come on I jumped back up I jumped back up but it didn't last so that following weekend came so my cousin was like no I'm gonna take you to this place in Kansas where I can get you a pregnancy test done to know for sure and I'm still thinking fee I'm not pregnant so my cousin she goes and takes me i cannot remember the place i think it was a woman's center or something like that anyway she goes and takes me to get a pregnancy test done and i'm in there and i'm scared because i'm nervous because i'm thinking what if i am pregnant my daddy is strict my mother i wasn't too scared about but i knew i was gonna probably disappoint her and but my dad is who i was terrified of and bob I was nervous about what he was going to say too and his mother and his father. So we're in there or whatever and the lady had me drink a big bottle water because I told her I could not pee. I wasn't able to pee. I didn't need to pee. So she ran and went and got me a big bottle of water and my cousin Fee's in there with me and finally I go step out 
take the pee test, pee in the cup or whatever, and then I come back in the room with my cousin feet. I begged the lady for my cousin to be able to stay in there with me because at first she said she couldn't. But the lady comes back in later. I guess she was a nurse or whatever. But she came back in and she sat down and she had this paper in her hand and she looked at me and she's like, well, sweetheart, you're pregnant. Y'all aren't going to understand the feeling that I was feeling. Yes, I was 18, but I had just graduated from high school. I had plans on going to college. I was actually going to go to Berkeley University. I was terrified of my father finding this out, especially finding out that I was having sex because he did not think that I was. My mother, I'm not so sure about. But I was so terrified and I just remember crying so hard. And my cousin, she was like, it's going to be okay, Basima. It's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Don't worry about it. And she was like, but we need to go to Bob's house. Ooh, yeah, I was just about to say his real name. Mm, 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 mm. But she was like, but we need to go to Bob's house. We need to go to Bob's house so we can let him know. So I try calling him or whatever but he's not answering the phone and of course we live with our parents we were only 18 he hadn't even graduated yet i was the only one that had graduated his graduation was that following weekend so i'm just like oh my god oh my god i'm so scared i'm so nervous all i'm thinking about honestly is my father so we pull up to bob's mom's house because he's not answering and he's actually outside in the front yard cutting the grass but his mom's car is there too like she's in the house but i can see her car of course in the driveway so my cousin fee of course she pulls up into the driveway and he stops mowing the grass and comes over to the car and he was like what's up and i was like i got something to tell you and i felt like i, I it took me forever to tell him i was so scared and he was like what's up what's up what you need what's wrong and so i just was like i'm pregnant and he was like what and i was like i'm pregnant and i could feel the tears building up in my eyes again and i was just like so scared and he was like what you gonna do and i'm looking like and my cousin's like what did he say and he's like what you gonna do and i was like i don't know and I was like, come on, Fee, let's just go. Let's just go. So she just pulls off because I'm mad. I'm crying because I don't know what I wanted him to say. I didn't know what he was supposed to say. But what you going to do, it kind of threw me off. Like, I didn't do this by myself. And he's saying, what am I going to do? No, nigga, what are we going to do? You know, at that point, back then, I wasn't thinking like that. But I'm so scared. I'm just bawling all the way home in the car she drops me off i'm in my room that whole rest of the evening and night thinking like how am i going to tell my parents that i am pregnant especially my father my mom i feel like i wasn't gonna be as scared because she wasn't as strict as my father was but she still but i still didn't want to disappoint her so that whole night I'm just in the bed crying and scared and just having thoughts of if I do this and sneak and have an abortion, my parents won't know. But I don't I don't know if I can do that. I I, I don't know. I don't wanna know if I wanna have an abortion. This is my baby. Then I'm thinking, if I keep it, I don't really have a good job. Bob doesn't have a job. I don't want my parents to take care of my baby. I'm supposed to be going to school soon. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So the next morning, my mom, she always made us big breakfasts or whatever. But anyway, I had been sleeping later than everybody else. But finally when I woke up, I guess my brothers had left and was outside playing with their friends or whatever. Um, and my mom, she was still in the kitchen like cleaning up, but she had still had my food out on the table. So I go downstairs and she had made some pancakes and those were my favorite. And... I just was not hungry like my appetite was like gone so I go downstairs and I'm like I can remember y'all I'm like good morning mama and she was like hey lady love because that's what she called me she was like hey lady love you've been sleeping late girl so I get to the table and I'm drinking my orange juice and I'm just sitting there and me and my mama we was close and you know she passed away so she's no longer here but 
we would talk a lot or she knew if I was down and I knew if she was down, you know, because she did have some things going on. But she was like, what's wrong, lady love? And I was like, mama, 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 mama. She was like, what, bossy? And I was like, mama, I got to tell you something. I was like, mama, please don't be mad at me. Please don't be mad at me. I'm like, mama, please. She was like, she just turned around. Because she was at the stove while we were talking. She was at the stove and I was at the table. And she turned around because she was wiping down the stove. And she turned around and she was like, you pregnant? And I remember I just started bawling and crying and crying more and more and more. And she she came and hugged me. And she was like, it's okay, lady love. It's okay. It's going to be okay. It's okay, baby. She was like, but you should have waited until you was married. You should have waited. You should have waited. But it's going to be okay. We here. We're here. It's going to be okay. And my parents are divorced. But they still had love for each other. Because they was married for a long time, man. She then looked at me and she said, Lady Love, you know you got to tell your daddy, right? And I just started crying more because that's what I was dreading. Telling my father. My daddy didn't play. He was strict. He gave me anything and everything I wanted in the world. But when it came to stuff like that, because he always talked about how he didn't want me to get pregnant. You know, he really didn't talk to us about sex. Because I think he felt uncomfortable talking to me and my brothers about that stuff. But, you know, he would say little slick stuff here like, I know y'all better not do that shit. Or, you know, stuff like that. So, she was like, you're going to have to tell your, your daddy. And I think my mom wasn't as upset is because my mom was a young mother. She actually had my oldest brother um, when she was 16 years old. She had my oldest brother. And I wasn't 16, I was 18 being pregnant, but she actually had my oldest brother, AKA Tech 9, when she was um, 16 years old. So I don't know if that's why she was. And plus my mama was so nice and so sweet. My mama might have gave me one whooping out of my entire life and then she hit me over the head with a wooden brush one time I was talking back to her. But other than that, my mama didn't whoop us. She was so nice, she was just like the best. And so she didn't really, she didn't really seem hurt or upset. She just was like, <sighs> I think she was more relieved that it happened now that I was out of high school rather than being in high school. But I'm thinking I'm supposed to go to school. Uh, I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Of course I can't eat my breakfast cause I'm freaked out and stressed out. Cause I'm like, I gotta tell this man sooner or later or my mama will, even though I love my mama to death, she would talk in my bedroom in my mom's house and I called my dad and I was like hey daddy what you doing <laughs> and he was like nothing bossy what's up baby I was like but I was like daddy I gotta tell you something he was like what what is it and I was like daddy daddy I'm so sorry I'm so sorry he was like bossy what what's wrong what's wrong you know yelling and stuff and I'm like daddy I'm so sorry I'm so sorry he was like What's wrong? Where's your mama? What done happened? Is something wrong with your mama? And I'm like, no. I was like, daddy. And he was like, God damn it, bossy. You bet not tell me you pregnant. And I was like, like crying. Oh my God. I was like, daddy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, he was like, damn it. What in the hell was you doing? Why did you go out and get pregnant? Who you pregnant by? Mind you. He didn't know Bob like that because, for one, Bob would try to get me to sneak out the house or go see him. And Bob never wanted to meet my father. And my daddy did not respect no little boys that didn't want to come and meet him. But yet they wanted to be all up in my face and take me out. So Bob and my father really had never met. He might have spoke to him on the phone once, but my daddy didn't take to him too well. So, and I told him it was by Bob. And he was like, God damn it, what the hell? You went in this, and you know, he's just yelling. He's so mad, and I'm on the phone just like crying and bawling. And he was like, and you gonna keep that damn baby. And I'm like, what? I figured, I didn't say I wouldn't, but if I wouldn't, I'm thinking to myself, how you gonna tell me? But I didn't say that to him, because I was terrified. And I'm thinking, oh, I know, I'm just saying I know, and I'm crying and snot running down my nose, and I'm just, <laughs> no daddy. So he was like, I'll be 
you over there in the morning to talk to you. This don't make no goddamn sense, bossy. And he hung up in my face. So I'm crying and my mama comes there. She was like, you told him, didn't you? And I was like, yes, he's gonna whoop my butt. She was like, bossy, he can't whoop you. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm crying. I'm scared. Even though it was a relief now that he know. Anybody else can know now. I didn't care what nobody else thought or anything. But my dad and my mother, I had to have them know as soon as possible. So I called my cousin and I told her that I told him. She was the first thing she said. What did, what did, my, what did my uncle say? And I'm like, he was yelling and cursing. And he's coming over here tomorrow to my mama's house to talk to me. And she was like, it'll be okay, cuz. And then Ray, uh, Bob's cousin, he was like, I knew it. I knew you was pregnant. And he yelling, telling his grandma on him. And I'm thinking, damn, I didn't tell you to tell nobody. The next day rolls around. And... That morning, my daddy comes to my mama's house a good 7 or 8 o'clock. And I just remember hearing that doorbell ring and that banging on the door. And my eyes like popped open. And I'm just like, fuck. So he finally calls me downstairs out of my room. And I remember I sat on the opposite, the opposite couch. And he was just sitting there looking at me, shaking his head and, um, you know, shaking his leg. And he was like. Now, how did you do this? And I'm thinking, Daddy, you know how. He was like, you having sex, sneaking around, being fast, and now you done went and got pregnant. You know better than that. I done taught you better than that. You know that we don't need you to go pregnant. You supposed to be going to school and this, this, and that, and don't think you not having this baby. You going to have this baby, and you going to raise this baby. And I'm thinking... Oh my God, if he don't tell me, if he don't stop telling me what I'm going to do, I'm 18 now. I'm out of high school. He ain't, he can't tell me that. I, that's what I'm thinking, but y'all, I ain't saying none of that. And I'm just crying like, huh? He was like, if you talk to his mama, let me talk to his mama. And just, you know, going, I'm like, I, I, I was like, I, I don't know if he told her. I was like, I told him, but he was like, what did he say? And he was like, well, he said, what am I going to do? And he just got so upset. And he was like, you out here having kids? You out here having sex doing this? Do you know how much it costs to raise one child? At least $17 an hour to raise one child. And I'm thinking, oh, here we go with the lecturing. He's steady yelling, but eventually, you know, he calms down and he leaves. And, oh, uh, you know, time goes on and he starts to accept it. He would still say his little sly comments and stuff. And, and Bob's parents found out. Uh, they just talked to me and asked what I was going to do and what he was going to do. And uh, his mom made sure that I knew that he was going to help me take care of this baby and all of this and that. And his parents weren't too upset. Um, but, yeah, it was very interesting. Eventually... He started making sure I got to my doctor's appointments. He would come to my doctor's appointments with me. I don't know if my daddy forced them. We were a couple, even though he was cheating in too, y'all. But he would take me to my appointments or whatever. And uh, once we found out what we were having, which it was a girl, um, I noticed he started getting a little more excited. And he named our daughter. He was just... Uh, of course, my father, we all have Muslim names, and my father wanted my child to have a Muslim name as well, and I, the whole time I knew that Bob wanted to name our daughter this, this, and that, and I just knew that, I always thought when you have a child, the child is supposed to have the father's last name, so I already knew my child's last name wasn't going to be my last name, and I knew my daddy was going to feel a certain way about that. But the first name, I was like, uh, maybe I can, you know, work something out with Bob. Because he really had his heart set on naming our daughter Avion, which that's her nickname is Johnny, but her first name is Avion. And so for the longest, I didn't even tell my daddy what her name was going to be. He didn't find out her name until she was born. He was like, what kind of name? French name is this and this and that? Because, you know, he was just, he wanted her to have a Muslim name and... It didn't go that way. It was, y'all, I was under so much pressure back then and so confused. My daughter has two last names. I was trying to please Bob and my father because I didn't want to disappoint my father because, you know, I love my daddy to death. And he's the best daddy I've ever known in my life. Well, the only daddy I've ever known. But anyway, and then I didn't want to disappoint 
vibe either because he was the baby's father he was my boyfriend and you know you know i just thought i needed to make everybody happy so my daughter has bob's last name and my last name <laughs> Till this day, I think eventually one day I'm going to change that and take off my last name because her two younger sisters just have Bob's last name and, and they don't have mine. So, y'all, it was a mess back then. But that is the time I told my parents. And so, anyway, my daughter came um, and, yeah, that's... Oh, and just to, and just to backtrack... Um, I end up not going to school because my father felt that he was going to make plans for my life and he wanted me to have my daughter and leave her with him not with Bob but with him and to raise her um, and wanted me to go to school and come back and visit my daughter you know on the holidays or in the summertime whenever I was on summer break from school or stuff like that I was thinking no I'm not leaving my baby once stuff started becoming real like I'm about to have a baby I'm not about to just see my baby on the weekends and see my baby in the summertime and talk to my baby on the phone I want to be there to raise my child I got knocked up I want to be there to raise my child so I was like no I'm not leaving to go that far away from my child so it didn't happen I end up I end up staying here in Kansas City raising my daughter uh, my dad was upset I'm not about to have my child thinking I'm her cousin from uh, out of town or her sister so yeah y'all i hope y'all enjoyed that story time that is the time that i got pregnant and it's as a teenager and i was a teen mom um so yeah y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this story and i will see y'all in the next video and my next story time which will probably be in another maybe three weeks or so who knows so i hope y'all enjoyed i'll see y'all in the next video bye loves